Hey everybody, this is Brett and today I'm really excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Rubicon. This one has the 35 inch extreme tire and wheel group. It also has the steel bumper and winch group. And I'm gonna go over everything on this vehicle today, along with some of the things that are new for the 2024 Wrangler, because it was a mid-model refresh and this one has all the mid-model refresh stuff on it. And uh, we'll get right to it. Stock number on this one is 24J36. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day if you click the bell notifications, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and specifically Jeep Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. Anyways, let's get right into this one. You can see you get these steel bumpers. So it's, these are full metal bumpers. And you also get a worn 8,000 pound winch right from the factory. So that is a new option for 2024. The steel bumper and winch group is a $34.95 option. So that's a pretty nice thing to get the winch right away and the steel bumpers. LED headlamps are now standard on the Rubicon package. So you get the LED headlights, running lights, the LED running lights and the fenders, as well as the LED fog lamps. So those are standard across the Rubicon and Sahara trim levels. And it also has a new grill for 2024. So you can see that the grill has been shrunk down. It used to go all the way to the bottom, which it still does, but now the painted part is shrunk down and these grill pieces are also a little bit shorter as well. They're granite crystal outline. You also get the granite crystal um, bezel around the fog lights there. You also get the sport hood with the Rubicon package. So the 35 inch extreme tire and wheel group gives you these extended fender flares and that's so everything is legal in all the states. The fenders have to go over the entire side of the tire to be legal. So that's why they did that. Also new for 2024 are all the different wheels. They've redesigned pretty much every wheel on the lineups and you also get different center caps. You can see the Jeep logo is uh, now on there, they used to say the word Jeep. Now it's a Jeep logo. These are painted and polished aluminums. These are 17 inch wheels and they have BF Goodrich all-terrain TAKO2 tires. These are LT31570 R17s. The suspension that you get with the extreme 35 inch tire and wheel group, you get an inch bigger spring and an inch bigger sway bar link there. So this vehicle will actually sit two inches higher than a standard Rubicon uh, trim level with the normal wheels and tires and suspension lift. This one's two inches higher. Uh, getting into some of the aesthetics here, you get the sandals still on that shroud, the Jeep climbing up the side. One thing else that is new for 2024, no antenna anymore, no metal antenna on the outside of the vehicle. They've replaced that with the trail rated badge and the antenna is now in the windshield. All the windshields are also the Corning Gorilla Glass. So that is uh, supposed to be a little bit stronger glass. And that is new for 2024 as well, having all of them the Corning Gorilla, except the sport package, of course. T50 on the doors. So these doors still come off the same way that they always have. We did a video on how to take those doors off. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below very popular video video the rubicon package also gives you the heavy duty rock rails on the bottom there so that you don't damage the body of the vehicle when you're traveling treacherous terrain you can see you get those fender flare extensions on the back fenders as well and the other thing to note with the tire and wheel group you get the performance brakes really the only way you can tell visually how they're different is they have these little slots in the uh, rotors there kind of maybe for heat dissipation or something. Anyways, you get the performance brakes with that tire and wheel group just because it's more mass to stop. Take a look at the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go over everything on this Jeep, but uh, most of it. And if you haven't been able to tell by now, this one is Sarge Green Clear Coat. Really good looking color. This one has the 3.6 liter V6 engine, the eight speed automatic transmission. 
everything on your left there is standard equipment. Uh, one thing to note, new for 2024, the Dana M220 wide full floating rear axle. That gives you the ability to have the 5,000 pound tow rating. However, you have to have the 410 gears to get that tow rating. So that'd be great if this one didn't have the extreme 35 inch tire and wheel group because this one actually has the 456 gears um, and that's on the build sheet, but they don't show it on the window sticker. Anyways, uh, so this one's only rated, I believe at 3,500 pounds for towing. Uh, you get the Uconnect 5 with the 12.3 inch display, Apple CarPlay, Google Android Auto, um, everything else is your standard equipment. The first optional equipment is a Sarge Green Clear Coat, which is $595. The steel bumper and winch group is $34.95. You get the worn winch and the steel front and rear bumper. Extreme 35 inch tire package is $39.95. And while it says it just gives you those wheels, the hinge gate reinforcement and the tires, you also get the suspension upgrade, the brake upgrade, the fender flare extensions and the uh, tail light extensions, which I'll show you in a little bit, as well as the 456 gears. Convenience group is 995 heated seats, heated steering wheel, and remote start. The eight-speed automatic transmission is a $4,500 option, and that gives you adaptive cruise control with stop and select speed control. Black three-piece hardtop is $1,495, and that gives you the rear defrost, um, rear window wiper washer, and freedom storage bag. Total MSRP is $66,265 if you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Jeep. In the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website to this vehicle and it's also linked in the description below. 3 year 36 bumper to bumper and 5 year 60 powertrain. There's the miles per gallon, 16 city, 19 highway, 17 combined. Now I do believe that this is calibrated for the 456 gears. Um, and the extreme tire and wheel group on this Jeep. Because I think the uh, normal Rubicons, they're closer, they're more in the 20s. And it's not really rated for the safety ratings except the three-star rollover. We'll get it back into the interior in just a little bit. Uh, finish the outside walk around here. Other thing to note with the Rubicon package standard, you also get the LED tail lamps. You get the towing package with the receiver hitch four pin and seven pin wiring. And I think the towing package comes standard on the Rubicon as well. Here's a better look at that tire tread pattern. And you get the red tow hook, the LED license plate light. There is your storage bag for the front hard top pieces. You also get storage for all the bolts for the hinges and roof and windshield. Here is your winch controller. Um, there's a handle in there that you can control the winch with, as well as some straps. So that's a pretty nice thing to have. And then the hard tops all come off of these Wranglers. There's three bolts on the side, one on the top, so four on each side, and then two quick disconnects. The one thing new for 2024 is where you store these uh, electrical and windshield washer fluid cords. They actually store in the plastic container in here. And uh, this pops right off and then you can store them right in there. So that's new for 2024, but everything else comes off just like the other ones. We actually did a video showing you how to take your JL Wrangler hard top off. So that's in the description and in the upper right hand part of the screen as well. You get seven slots on the back door as well. And the G JL badge back here, two door, four door, uh, wheelbase and overall length, as well as water fording. You get the blacked out fuel door on there. Really nice Wrangler. You get the gray and red Jeep and trail rated badges on this side as well. Enter and go system. Now inside the Rubicon package gives you what I call the dark charcoal. They call it black. Um, I'm going to go with dark charcoal. It's not truly black. You get the Rubicon stitched into the backrest, the red stitching on the seats and on the uh, backrest release. This is the manual seats. You can get power seats in the Rubicons. Now uh, you have to have the power seat group or the leather group, I should say. Uh, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel. What else is new for 2024? You get this 
uh, Wrangler and Gladiator badge right there. Power mirrors, power locks. The other thing is this trim on the dash is kind of like a rubber, um, I guess maybe they call it Gore-Tex material on the dash. You also get the red uh, metal piece there and then the red stitching. Hop inside, check out the mile or the instrument cluster and the radio because that is all new as well. The radio. You can still get the seven inch LCD display, the Rubicon animation at the beginning and digital speedometer, compass display. You can change those corners to read pretty much whatever you want. Has the heated leather wrap steering wheel. And I've mentioned this in a couple other videos. The uh, steering wheel is a different leather. It's actually the same leather that they use on the leather seats when this comes with leather. It's like a soft touch. It's really a soft leather, but it's it's like a stiff leather all at the same time. So it's really a, a new uh, material that they're using. Feels good. Cruise controls, adaptive cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls, and audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. This is the all-new Uconnect 5 12.3-inch radio. And this one has is the standard radio for all of the Wranglers for 2024. Even the sport package has this radio. The only difference is, is if you get the navigation system with it or if you don't. This one does not have the navigation system, but it does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And you can project your cell phone to the screen um, with one of those apps. And if you've got Waze or Google Maps on your phone, project it right to the screen. It's like you have nav on the screen anyway. So, um, you know, a lot of companies are kind of going away from the nav systems uh, just because a lot of people use their phones anyways. Uh, anyways, you get AM, FM, and of course, Sirius XM radio capabilities on here, Bluetooth, USB, AUX jacks, all that good stuff. You get your climate controls on here as well, including your heated seats and heated steering wheel buttons. And then you get all your different apps on here. I'm not going to go through everything, but if there's ever anything you guys want me to go over on the YouTube channel, just let me know and I can make a video specific to that for everybody. Uh, but the off-road pages here, they're pretty cool. You get if your sway bar is connected, disconnected, front to axle if it's locked or unlocked, same thing with the rear axle, transfer case, and then the steering angles. As I turn those wheels, you can see those angles change, and the tires actually turn up there as well. So that's pretty cool. You get your accessories, gauges, and that, that, those are obviously not right because we're not even running right now. So <laughs> uh, once the vehicle starts, those will change. You also have your pitch and roll, latitude, longitude, altitude um, down here. So in addition to the radio being new, you also get different vents. They used to have the, the circle vents on each side of the 8.4 or the 7-inch radio, whatever you got. Uh, now they have these skinnier vents down here, uh, kind of more conventional than the circle vents. And then this is different up here. This used to be one big kind of storage tray like this, but now it's, I think that's a speaker in the middle or just, no, it's just plastic um, up there. There's no speaker. But anyways, you get two little storage areas. It looks good, symmetrical. I like how they uh, made this gloss black so it kind of blends right into the dash. So if you're looking at it from the driver's perspective, it just looks like one big instrument cluster there. Everything from the vents down, though, is the same as the 2023. Push button start, uh, volume, tune, climate controls, more tactile climate controls, heated seats, heated steering wheel controls, st start, stop, stability control, that's your speed select, crawl control, USB, USB-C, AUX jack. Down here is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon, front and rear lockers, rear locker only, off-road mode plus, and then sway bar disconnect. These auxiliary switches come with the tow package and uh, the 4x4 shifter on the floor and the 8-speed automatic transmission. Keys have not changed. You get the flipper key right there with the remote start. Nice chunky key fob. They sit right in the cup holders there. Get a good look at that Gore-Tex material on there or the rubberized material. And then uh, also new for 2024 across the trim levels is side curtain airbags are now standard on the Rubicon or on the Wrangler vehicles. Um, so definitely applaud Jeep for getting that in place. And then up here, 
you get different map lights. They used to be in one big cluster right here, but now they're individual map lights there. And then for the back, there's one there and then one right there. So that's different as well, probably because of the airbags. They had to change that around. Be my guess, assist and SOS buttons, and then home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go show you all the LED lights with the lights off in the picture studio so you can see just how bright they are because I truly feel that that is a major selling point for the Wranglers for the 2024 over possibly an identical 2023 that you may be finding out there. If it doesn't have the LED light group, uh, you're gonna see right now just why uh, you may wanna consider the brand new one over the used one. So one, or the 2023 instead of the 2024. Uh, so one second, I'm gonna pause it, turn off all the lights, and I'll show you just how bright these lights are. All right, so you can see just how bright they are just from a, just looking at its standpoint. Uh, and they all look really good. You can definitely tell a Wrangler when you're either coming up on it or behind one. Very distinctive headlights, very distinctive um, shape to those lights as well. And now when you're driving, you can enjoy, you know, first class lighting, uh, very bright. And they go, they're really wide as well. Especially if you ever watched one of my videos on the Rams, the LED lights for the Rams are super wide. They light up the entire wall, uh, which is pretty cool. And then the LED tail lamps, those are a very distinctive shape as well. And you get LED lights on the license plate lights there. So if you're considering a 2023 that doesn't have the LED lighting group and you're looking at a 2024, you may wanna opt for the 2024 because those lights come standard. Of course, it all comes down to price and Wranglers are pretty easily customizable where you can put LED lights in just about everything. I hope you enjoyed the video today and I hope you learned something about this particular Wrangler. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the color, Sarge Green clear coat, <laughs> one of the best looking colors and uh, Wranglers we've had on our lot, especially for the 2024s. I think it's a really good looking Jeep. I'm kind of surprised it's not sold already. But if you wanna buy it, you can check out more pictures and full description at www.summitauto.com. And we have full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle on our lot, over 550 new and used to choose from. And if you like the video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Summit Auto. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of not only vehicle walkarounds, but specifically Jeep Wrangler walkarounds. I almost have 500 Wrangler videos up there, so definitely go check us out there. And in fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to how to take your hardtop off of your JL Wrangler in the lower right. Click those, check us out. And we're super excited to be offering this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Rubicon in starge green clear coat with the 35-inch extreme tire and steel bumper group. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.